President Maitri Pala Sirisena states that Sri Lanka will enter into several agreements with China in a manner which does not harm the integrity, sovereignty and national security of the country. The President made this statement when the Visiting Minister of Defence and State Councillor of the People's Republic of China, General Chang Wongkwong, called on the President this afternoon at the President's official residence. President Sirisena, who recalled the long-standing relations between Sri Lanka and China, appreciated the support extended by China towards the sovereignty and national security of Sri Lanka. The President's media unit reports that the President had also extended his gratitude to the Chinese government for the training opportunities provided to Sri Lankan security forces for a long time. The President, who commended the assistance provided to Sri Lanka by the Chinese government during the crucial stages of the war in the country, trusts that China will continue to train the Sri Lankan security forces. General Chang Wang Kuan, the visiting Chinese Minister of Defense, said that a strong foundation has been laid for the betterment of the economy, society and the people's welfare under the current president of Sri Lanka. The visiting Chinese Minister of Defense also met with State Minister of Defense Ruan Vijayawardena. The media were not permitted to cover the meeting. However, the footage of the meeting were aired live on the official Facebook page of State Minister Ruan Vijayawardena. The Visiting Minister of Defense and State Council of the People's Republic of China, General Chang Wang Kuan, arrived in the island last evening. China has invested heavily in Sri Lanka, funding airports, roads, railways and ports, and including the island nation on its One Belt, One Road mission to create a modern-day Silk Road across Asia. In 2014, Sri Lanka permitted a Chinese submarine and a warship to dock at its port in the capital, Colombo, sparking concern in New Delhi. India has been concerned over China's involvement in the Indian Ocean region. After Sri Lanka, Chiang will be travelling to Nepal, which serves as a natural buffer between China and India, challenging India's long-held position as a dominant outside power in the landlocked nation. It is evident that China is paying special attention on the Indian Ocean. The relationship between Sri Lanka and China has been going on for years. The forces and the ministries of defense of both countries have a close relationship. Political, economical and cultural ties with a country like China is a very usual relationship. Samanya Siritak. 